Hi everyone, it's Athena and welcome back to my channel. For those celebrating and getting ready to celebrate Orthodox Easter. Tonight is Good Friday. And as we very well know, Good Friday is about the death of our Lord Jesus, which is, and then upcoming tomorrow being Christ is risen. So on this day, let us all be reminded whether you're celebrating this Easter or not, let us remember why we sit in church if we do, for those who do, sitting in church, asking God for repentance, redemption, and then when they get out of church, because humans do that, they continue what they were asking for forgiveness in the first place for. So let's be reminded of whether you're entertaining your own redemption and or asking God to forgive you for your sins. Remember to remember those words. Remember what you're asking forgiveness for. And hence, not to be right the hypocrite and on another note the belief systems that we were taught this is bad and this is good truly bear notice to what the commandments have stated because therein lies your truth that is the way of the Lord. And don't feel bad. Truly, don't feel bad if you make a mistake. Don't feel bad if you have a thought that's not, you know, exemplary. Forgive yourself. Because that's truly your own judgment day. We've seen her almost every day. She comes with love and truth. Okay, let's get started. I'm going, I'm going to say this is the way. Balance out what the acts that you do and what you say and how you feel is the way forward. It's all about how you feel. You know when you're feeling good about something or not. So use your guidance. You are your own guidance by your emotions, by how you feel. The red winged angel is about the love that she gives and the truth that she bestows for all to know it through the emotional waters of what? Masculine and feminine, yin, yang, yes, no. It's the polarity. It's, oh my gosh, I made a mistake. Okay, so get over it. Don't make it again. Look beyond what you see and what you know. What you know is different than what you were raised to believe. So follow your own path by using your emotional navigation system and look, look at the red. Again, the cloak of red is the love that we hold for others, for the souls who have crossed over and for ourselves. Don't beat yourself up. This is the Trinity. The yang and the yang is right here. 
here. The yin, the yang, same thing. The pouring of knowing what's right in your own sense, sense of feelings, not what others claim they know. The Page of Cups, forgiveness. If you're going to ask God for forgiveness, right, then mean it. These turbulent waters, it doesn't, doesn't happen overnight to forgive and to actually be freed. That's why it's reversed. These two are standing before the altar of this beautiful angelic, the angelic realm. God forgive me for I have sinned. Repentance. Right? Be your own guiding light and follow your own path, knowing day and night, same thing. Sorry. When you finally reach the pinnacle of strength and peace is when you know you have forgiven and then you will see this. But for now, when you ask for forgiveness, move on. And know that you have been forgiven. The, the, the one who judges the most is the one who creates havoc. Don't judge yourself and don't judge, look at judgment day. Judgment Day isn't what we think in the heavens. Nobody can really say what they know of Judgment Day, right? When we get to heaven. But one thing we can rest, be rest assured, that if you can free yourself from your own trials and tribulations, you can walk the path of forgiveness, knowing that you're not going to create the same, knowing that you're not going to create the same situation or get yourself into a possible situation where you were trying to be forgiven and forgiving yourself, right? I mean, that's really what it's all about. We are our own worst judge. So let's just do this, right? Take your time to resolve your differences within your own sense, semblance of self until you can really feel at peace again. It takes time. Don't allow others to try and sway you differently. Don't allow others to influence you or and or don't allow others to, you know, to interject their two cents. <laughs> That's what I just heard. Thank you. When you're ready, when the sun rises again, you will be ready to find that peace within your own self. And that is your victory to behold your freedom and your truth. I send you many blessings and love.